morning. We are headed in to the Magic Kingdom today. We're not going to the Magic Kingdom today. We're going to the People Mover today. Yes. We are We're going to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> today. Peter's got his ACS shirt on. We raised some money. You all raised yeah. a lot of money. Um, and Peter's got to ride the People Mover 62, 62. times. Look at that, Magic Kingdom in the morning. Within the first hour of it opening. We've gone to all of the other parks and seen Christmassy stuff. This is our first time at Magic Kingdom. Our final park. Look at that beautiful Christmas decorations. Love it. The music. It's almost your birthday. It is almost my birthday. Today is your half birthday. It sure is. <laughs> but I just like, I feel like Christmas here is like your birthday time. What are we gonna do? So we have entered Tomorrowland and people are rope dropping. Monsters Inc. last floor. You say, you say that's ridiculous, but then you don't have to wait. So like that should be your strategy. The people mover is right above us. Check out this stitch. I love that they keep these out because then if you don't go to the Christmas parties, you can still get a little flair. Here we go. We have arrived. It is time. Ride number one of 62. Let's go. Alrighty, so the boys and I have left Peter after his first ride. He's gonna keep on riding. The boys have been snacking this morning, but we're ready for some breakfast. Everyone is getting their fancy breakfast on this morning. There's been like so many random little treats. I got those sausage and gravy tots, some donuts. Peter a coffee for in between rides. Gonna go manja. Ride number two. Done. This is what I want, but this is what I fear, is that at some point today, there's not gonna be a walk on time because it's gonna eat up a lot of time to go around and I have to wait like 20, 30 minutes to get back on. So I hope it's like this all day, but it is the beginning of Thanksgiving week. So who knows? Ride number three. Dunzo. Ride number four. Out of here. You see the honey? <laughs> Look at Stitch! Stitch is just roaming around Tomorrowland today. <laughs> Number five is done. I think we're gonna do a coffee break. Sarah's down there with the boys. Our next stop is Dumbo. Oh, just ah, man. There it is. The train. All right, all right. 10% of the way done. Ride number six coming to an end. So this is my fear beginning to realize now that it's quarter to 11 and it's going to get busier and busier. It is. I am now in about a five minute wait for the ride, which isn't a big deal, but when we're talking getting maybe up to 60 rides in today, you know, an extra five minutes here, an extra 10 minutes there is going to add up and take away from time on the attraction. But that's why we want to do some fun stuff like this. Affirmative, we run the bus, you can count on us. Thanks for riding with us, it's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're completely we waited 45 minutes for that ride and the play place was not open the whole reason we really did it so thankfully the kids are patient and we're happy who's gonna push it up 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 number seven we're getting closer and closer to 
breaking in the double digits. Alright, we're on ride number 10. On the way, I got James here with me. Or gravity 50 more, 52 more rides. Okay, a quick recap if that little bit was a little confusing. So, the boys and I went on Dumbo with the intentions of getting Wiggles out at the play place. It was a 20 minute wait. So, I was like, great, we'll go, we'll wait a little bit, we'll play. Um, but the play place was closed and the wait time went up to like 45 minutes. So we waited 45 minutes and there was no play place. They did so good, but it was it was a long wait. Um, but they really, really enjoyed Dumbo. Um, and then we did one lap with Peter on the people mover. That was number nine. But now Teddy is sleeping in the stroller. Festival of Fantasy is going on and James Z is joining Peter for a couple of laps. While I just let let Teddy snooze, we're kind of recalibrating after this, having lunch, um, and just seeing with like the crowds and everything how how the rest of today and like the People Mover Marathon is gonna go. Whether it's today and Peter stays and I leave or he comes back tomorrow, we'll see. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure. Number fourteen. Out of here. Number 15, 15, 1, 5, 15, over, booyah. See you in the future. All right, my uh, ride 19 coming to an end. Hoping this line eases up soon, but next up, ride 20. One third of the way there. So I got off after my 19th ride, getting ready all excited to do my 20th one. I got off and the line was the longest it's been all day. Probably a 25 to 30 minute line. Kind of wild. So I'm actually going to get a snack, a little something to eat, and hope that by the time I'm done doing that, the line is sure. Alright, this is a fun piece of riding the people mover all day. Got a chance to see Space Mountain with the lights on. Look at that. How about it? Wow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. It's getting quite beautiful. It's getting to be nightfall, and this is ride 22. I'm going to be here for one more hour before we call today's chapter over, and Sarah, I need Sarah to pick me up. Space Mountain's still lit up. Drop my phone on my face. <laughs> so wild. At least they have all the guests off. Now just nobody's in there. That means guests got to get up the, the rockets and walk through this. That's so cool. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you. It's so weird to be leaving Tomorrowland finally after being here since 9 a.m. That's cool and all, it looks really nice, it does, but it's got nothing on the physical lights. Cinderella's lights, but it does look pretty. Now this, now this is the view. This is where it's at. This is, this is the, this is the awesomeness. This is the, this is the magic. This is the Christmas. Yep, this is it. Also, a lot of people here, quite a lot of people here. Explains the 30 minute people mover time all day. Well, well, I don't know the last time I've been to Magic Kingdom or any park this early. It is 7 o'clock. Resort stays get early access at 7.30. Park opens at 8. And I need to get on People Mover. Because I've only done 23 rides of 62. But we are going to get it done. Got the Epcot monorail coming in. I think I'm going to opt for the Magic Kingdom monorail today. We did the ferry yesterday, and I'm feeling some monorail. I'm wondering if I'm gonna get, catch this one though. Can't really run because there's a family up there not running. So, low and slow today. Wow, sunrise magic kingdom. Definitely wish my fam was with me. But this is still pretty amazing. The water still on the ground from the power washing. The sun's coming through the train station. Well, we're on a mission today. 
So absolutely no fun is being had. We want to make it to Tomorrowland and get on people mover for like 40 rides. I think this is a first for me. I've never seen a bird on the line that attaches to the top of the castle. That's for their HDTV, of course. Never saw that before, but it's right up there by the top. All right, my plan was foiled. It's 7.30, park doesn't open until eight, but it's early magic for resort stayers, so you, they won't let me pass there. So I got 30 minutes to soak in the vibes. Maybe I'll get a coffee. I guess this isn't so bad being forced to wait until eight o'clock. Nice 20 minutes in this, this view. I have a coffee here and a garbage can, the best table in the whole world. But I do people's, I do see people on my people mover. And by people, I mean like one person. I will, be, I will get there. I will get on that. Welcome and good morning, everyone. We have some extra special friends here to welcome you all today. Let's hear it for Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Society's mistake. The Everybody should be flocking to it. Always. I have a better appreciation for this beautiful attraction from down here now. After seeing the view so many times from up above, and I still have so many more. This is what I like to see. No lines. Bon bon. Hello, old friend. It's nice to see you this morning. My fellow sentient life forms, our people mover journey has nearly come full important. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite part. And on the 28th ride, they let me stay on. Wow. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. They're stitched on there just walking around, holding that person's hand. How cute. They don't often do that in Disney World. What a, spite, a sight to see as I finish my 31st ride, officially halfway. 33 rides have come and gone. I think I need to go take a break and stretch the legs after being on this, I think, for like six or seven without getting off. By 36, getting closer and closer to 40, which I think is where we're gonna call today's chapter of the People Mover Marathon. Day two of the People Mover is over. They're doing something different I've never seen before. They're not running the express monorail, they're running everything through the resort. I don't mind. Um, that makes me think they're gonna have more monorails on this route but I like stopping at them anyway. Time to go home, game plan when the next day three of the People Mover Marathon is, thinking Tuesday. And we are on day number three. 22, 22 rides left. Yeah. And we had like a week break, we were blocked out. It's Sunday morning, Thanksgiving week. We're gonna finish it up today. Right? That's the plan, right? We're all guys. 
<laughs> I'm going to get to 62 rides because that's what we said and we never set in a time frame. But we might give ourselves a little Thanksgiving last day of vacation treat for me because the people over is down right now. And, <laughs> and there's nothing we can do about that, you know? Minutes. Right, but so. like that throws off the whole plan of getting all 22 rides Sunday if it's not. I need it to be like on there at 8 o'clock. Right. Not asking the customers to not leave for me to get 22 yeah. rides done in like 5 or 6 hours. If I'm not going to get it done, I'm not going to like... I would right. rather enjoy the morning grew up dropping and short lines with my, with my boys. If you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. And everyone gathered together to say, We saw we were going to go on Haunted Mansion, but then we saw that the Jingle Cruise is only five minutes, which is an oddity. Here we go, all settling on the Jingle Cruise. And five minute wait. Now, wait, was it Jingle? Oh, Jingle, sorry. That's my first Noel. Uh -huh. The best bite in the whole jungle. Well, Merry Christmas, Uncle Ebenezer. We are going to make like a dreidel and spin right on out of here. Excited of water! Alright, carpets was a walk on, so we're on that next. Hi, everybody, it's Aladdin! Woo. But Genie is a real safety nut. Should we go down, down, down? Let's try. Whoa, whoa! Alright, it's 9.07. People movers back up. Just right into the washroom, and we're ready to get this marathon finished. 22 rides is the goal today. Marlon's just having a rough start to the day, I guess, with people moving Astro Orbiter down the first hour, and now Space Mountain's down. Great view of the inside with the lights on. Ready for it? Ooh. So interesting to see this with the lights on. Dr. <laughs> Well, Daddy starts his people mover marathon. We are on buzz. I think this is the first time Jamesy scored points on his own. He got 800. People mover journey has nearly come full. Gloomier day. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a chilly day. A perfect people mover day. This is always my favorite part. Because now is the time. Now is the best time. We met up with the cards. Now it's time to ride. <laughs> wow. Under the sea. Now approaching tomorrow at Station. My fellow sentient life forms are picking the journey. Getting busier down there. Ride number 48's coming to an end. We're gonna do a quick uh, bathroom break and then hop back in line. It's gotten a little rainy, but here we are, finishing ride 52, which you know what that means, guys. Whoa! We got a little rainy day cavalcade action going on. Hi, Dopey! Ride 55 is coming to an end. It's getting closer and closer, my friends. Closer and closer. There goes Daddy! So we have uh, left the in cards. I went to baby care, got the boys situated. You wanna go inside there? James wanted to go in the Tron store. Um, so after baby care, it is time for Teddy's nap, so he's resting. I went to Joffrey's and got a little drink. James got a donut, so we'll stroll. And then this way, like, James, you'll get to rest too kind of eat his donut, 
Um, yeah, just chill out for a little bit. We have had such a successful day. I can't even like wrap my mind right around it. We've been going from ride to ride all morning. All right, I have done 61 rides. And since Sarah and the boys are here, I'm going to meet up with them now so they can go back and as a family, we can ride the 62nd ride together, the final ride, because we did the first ride together. So they're in Adventureland, so we'll be meeting up with them soon here in the hub. And this American Cancer Society fundraising adventure will be coming to an end. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. Last ride, Daddy. 62. One last view of the castle before our ACS and the fundraising adventure comes to an end. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, People Mover Journey has nearly come full orbit. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have wow. you. Wow. At times I felt like it would never come. My favorite part. But here we are. Now is the best to an end. To go out and Thanks for the support, everybody. Today. And with that, we are headed out A Christmas tree. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>